Hello, we've been talking about Titus and today we're looking at the threat of false teaching that Titus was warned about. And I've got a story that I hope will help you understand a bit better. My story is about a young girl called Jem. And I've got a picture of Jem here for you to have a look at. There's Jem. Jem learned to read and write and went to school every day. And every day in the morning and in the evening, she would clean her teeth. And she cleaned her teeth because mum and dad and the dentist said, if you don't clean your teeth, you'll get holes in your teeth and it will hurt. She also fed the chickens every day because if she didn't feed the chickens, mum and dad said the chickens would die and she wouldn't have any eggs. But at school, there was another girl and she was thought to be really, really cool. Her name was Deliah. And to be in her group was the best. Deliah wore cool shoes. She had a sign for her group called the TDs and she even had it shaved in the side of her hair. And here's a picture of Deliah. Deliah said it wasn't cool to answer questions in class or do your homework. She also said that cleaning your teeth, well, that's for sissies. And all you have to do is chew gum. And when the gum loses its taste, well, you just pull it out and you shove it under the desk or under your chair. Ugh. Deliah and her group ate heaps of Tim Tams. She didn't have any chooks or pets, but she said, you don't really need to feed them. And if you forget to feed them, well, it doesn't matter because you can just get more. Deliah told Jem that to be in the TDs, she would need to have the side of her head shaved with the group sign. She would need to have shoes the same as Deliah. She must chew gum and to stay in the group, she'd have to buy Tam Tim Tams every week. Jem was beginning to think. She didn't think she wanted to be in the group. Now, you know, in Titus' day, there were people in the church who were a bit like Deliah. They were teaching things about following Jesus that were not true and taking money for the wrong things they were teaching. This was causing big problems in the church family. It was making people afraid and people weren't trusting God. You know, to be part of God's mob, you don't need to have special shoes. You don't need to have your hair shaved and you don't need to buy packets of Tim Tams. In fact, there's nothing that you can do or buy that makes you part of God's mob. To be part of God's mob, you just need to trust Jesus. We just need to thank him for dying and coming alive again and rescuing us from living life our way. And we need to ask Jesus to help us live his way. And we need to tell others how great Jesus is. Now, Jesse's going to pray. Let's pray. Dear Father God, we thank you for the book of Titus that we're learning about and we thank you that it is in your Bible, your word, that is true. And we pray that the children in our church will be able to continue to read your Bible and to learn it and know it so that when things pop up that may not be true or people try to convince them of other things, they know your truth. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.